Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so if you hear anything, my brother has a friend over just to point that out. Today, as you can tell by the title, I'm not going to be comparing store-bought slimes with real slime because I have no idea how um, the store-bought slimes are made. Therefore, I'm just going to be just reviewing store-bought slimes. So I went to the grocery store and I picked up a few things. Now, I didn't just pick up slime. I did, however, pick up some more glue because I was running a little bit low. So, if you guys would just like a full-on, real directioned fluffy slime video. But I also did pick up three slimes. Now, this one originally did not come into this container. I, whenever I went in the store, I got it and then I dropped the... It came in an egg, and it was um, pink and blue, but I played with it, and it overpowered the pink and went to blue, so if you did ever get that, it overpowered the um, the pink, so it would turn blue when you play with it. Because, I mean, it broke. It came in a larger egg. Oh, no. It came in a larger egg than this. There we go. But it broke, and it cracked, and I had to move it to this whenever I drop the bag. And this one was a dollar forty nine cents. This one right here was just a dollar. And I'm not gonna base it off of normal slime. I'm going to base it off of what it looks like on the picture. And it looks like complete water, so I'm gonna expect it to be like that, but like it looks pretty cool and this was only one dollar. This one is a Alien Force Goo. This one comes with a blow tube and this is a pink slime. That one's rainbow, if you can tell. And this one, I feel like there's not going to be a lot of slime once we get the Alien out because it takes up a lot of the room. Anyways, this one you're supposed to be able to blow bubbles with. And this one was only $1. So, yeah. We're going to go with the egg first. The most expensive one. So I just put it in this container because this is the container that I had laying around. So we are going to be testing this in four different categories. How it pokes, how it stretches, how it smells, and overall. So, first of all, let's just smell this. It smells like blueberries, but chemical blueberries. It smells really bad. And it kind of makes me sick. Now we're going to poke it. Reminds me of a normal slum. Okay, now let's do the stretch. When we slowly stretch this, it does stretch. But what would happen if we tried to stretch it faster? It rips. For overall, if I was going to give this to someone, and um, it wasn't called slime, it was called a putty, and basing this off the putty... I give this about a 7 out of 10 because the only thing that's wrong with it really is it doesn't smell very good and it isn't the stretchiest. But it still stretches, it just isn't the stretchiest. Let's put that back in here. Okay. Let's do the alien. Okay, so let's open this up. hard to undo and that egg is kind of that's actually really heavy okay let's 
move this out of the way. Let's get this plastic off of it. Let's try not to break this egg. Okay, so here it is. This is a very clear slum. That one little bubble. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. I didn't get this for the alien. I got this for the slum. By the way, now we're going to try and get this open if we can get this tape off of it. I would pause the video, but I'm afraid I'm going to like accidentally open the egg or it's going to break and I'm going to feel it. I'm sorry I didn't get my reaction there. I had to go to a party. I got this Thursday. I'm filming this Saturday night because I just got home today. Um, Thursday, I had to go to dance and I couldn't do it. Wednesday, I mean, not Wednesday. Friday, I went home with someone after school. And Saturday, all day today, we were gone in the car. Okay, this is an opening. I'm going to just open this. Okay, and then I'll get back to you. I was just about to go get scissors until it opened, so look at that. That's cool. <laughs> That's just funny. Oh, the egg's rolling away. So, we've got this, and they give us this to blow with, so let's open this egg. Oh my gosh, it's fogging up by my fingerprints see my fingerprints on this okie dokie this is a much more heavy duty egg than that one that one was like a very thin plastic if it was plastic whoa this is pretty stretchy right off the back but it's also way smaller than that one so this alien, wait, is this, is the slime? So it says it glows in the dark, and I'm not sure if it's the slime or the alien. So, so at first it started to stretch, but once I took out the alien, it is a little harder. But I actually like this slime. Smell? Um, chemically, but you can't really smell it until you put it right up to your nose. So, smell isn't a problem. Let's try and blow a bubble with this. Now, uh, of course, you won't be able to see because, you know, <laughs> I'm like this. So, let me just... Okay, so we got to... I read the directions before doing this. Got to hold, cover this. Well, I mean, it blew a small bubble. It definitely blows bubbles like it said it does. Let's poke it. It just flung. For a minute, I uh, guess, because I thought it went down my stairs. Which is... Oh, you can't see it. It's right over here off the table. It doesn't poke as a normal clear slime would. Um, it kind of reminds me of just a little bit of an overactivated over clear slime. Overall for the slime, I give it a 10 out of 10. Well, a 9.5 out of 10 just because... It isn't the stretchiest, but, I mean, I love it, and I would recommend this. Let's turn off the lights, and let's see if this alien or the thing glows. Okay, so let's turn off this flash. Okay, so, the alien glows in the dark, but the slum doesn't. So... It's kind of a bummer. Um, can you guys like, do you like it better whenever all the lights are off? Can you see it better? And today I'll probably be posting 
twice just tonight because it's a really slow night for me. Okay, let's put this back in the egg. Do you hear that too? All those geekies and the frogs. Yeah. So this is a really good container that you can keep your slime in. I'll unlike the egg. I feel like the next container is going to be really well. Well, at least, maybe good. Anyways, well, it was good. Oh, my egg. Okay, it just fell. And it was close to opening, but it didn't. Phew, okay. Let's hurry up. This one was a whole lot easier to open. Slide those off the table. I'll pick them up later. Oh, no. Okay. There we go. Okay. Plastic. Let me get this plastic opened. Okay. I got it open with the plastic off. And I turned back on the lights if you're wondering if the lighting's different. And the camera... It's different. Okay, so oh come on, the camera will not stay where it needs to be. So this is called Cool Ooze. The container feels very good, but this <laughs> I made it a little couch. Okay, very rolly. Okay, so, I bet if you ripped this in half, it wouldn't go back together. This does feel like water. It doesn't look like the picture. It doesn't flow over your hands. It just falls off in one place. Okay, will this even go back together? No. Let me try again, pressing it. Firmly to the sides. It still won't go back together. This one, poke. Not a good poke at all. Um, smell. Um, just smells like chemicals. Chemicals are close to nothing. Doesn't smell really like anything. Um. I'm going to say one thing other than my other ratings is the residue. This does leave stuff all over your hands. Oh, and by the way, my snow slime video. Um, one of my friends actually told me to just use the powder and not with water. So if you guys would like to see me try that method and see how it is, then... Did I say not just the powder? I don't know. Um, she told me to just use the powder and not mix it with water. So, I'm having a pretty hard time getting this back in here. Okay, so it le did leave a lot of residue. Overall, I did not like this one at all. I love the container, and I will probably use the container for a different slot. It looks super pretty, though, so I'm going to keep it. I'm not just going to throw it away. Overall, out of all of them, this one is my favorite. Whenever I touched it, it was thick, it was clear, it was honestly a really good slime. So this one is my favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to like and subscribe. Goodbye!